All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of three is equal to x to the power of five. So my only variable in this equation is x. So that's what I'm gonna be solving for. And now for my solution, I'm gonna rewrite my equation down here so I have a little more solving space. So my equation x to the power of three is equal to x to the power of five. And what I'm first gonna do is subtract x to the power of five on both sides. So then these two cancel out and I get x to the power of three minus x to the power of five is equal to zero. Now from here, x to the power of five is the same thing as x to the power of three plus two. And an important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So x to the power of three plus two is gonna equal x to the power of three times x to the power of two. And now I'm gonna factor out x to the power of three so I get x to the power of three times one minus x squared. So now this gives me two equations. I get x to the power of three is equal to zero and I get one minus x squared is equal to zero. So for x to the power of three equals zero, I'm gonna take the cube root on both sides. So I get the cube root of x to the power of three is equal to the cube root of zero. The cube root of x to the power of three is x and the cube root of zero is zero. So x equals zero is one solution. Now for one minus x squared equals zero, I'm going to rewrite this as negative x squared plus one is equal to zero. And now I'm gonna multiply both sides by negative one. So negative one times negative x squared plus one is equal to x squared minus one, and zero times negative one is zero. So I get x squared minus one equals zero. And one is the same thing as one squared. So I have x squared minus one squared is equal to zero. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b, times a minus b. So this is equal to x plus one times x minus one is equal to zero, meaning I get two equations, x plus one equals zero and x minus one equals zero. For x plus one equals zero, I get x equals negative one. And for x minus equals zero, minus one equals zero, I get x equals one. So notice how we have three equations for this equation. So, I'm sorry, notice how we have three solutions for this equation.